Okay, so in this video, we're just going to go over taking everything that we've learned before and packaging that up into a mod that we can either distribute on Steam Workshop or just upload somewhere for other people to play. If you go to the Frictional Games wiki, wiki.frictionalgames.com, and you want to search for setting up a mod entry under HPL3, if you scroll down, we've got two types of mods. You can set up an add-on entry, or you can set up a standalone. And we're going to be looking at the standalone one today. Um, there's a download link here, which will give you the minimal custom map mod, which is what we're going to be working from. And you can read through all of this at your leisure, but I'm going to go through most of it now. So when you actually get the mod, once you extract it, you're going to see these files here. The main one we need to look at is entry HPC, um, but really all these files are going to be important, including the config, uh, resources, and entry. And in here, you can see a, a sample map that's already been added. So to launch this, we want to go to our Soma directory. And the reason I'm doing it through the command prompt is you may be running this from GOG or Steam. So I want to ignore the platform that you're on for now. So we just do soma.exe dash mod and then we actually want to point to the entry HPC file here. That's very important. So we hit enter. And we're going to get the standard startup screen. But when we hit new game, be loaded into our custom map, which as you can see is very basic. But that's really all we need to get started. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to make this launch into the map that we made previously in the other videos, and we're going to change the color of the player's flashlight just by overriding one of the script files. So next we'll just exit out of this, and we'll take a look at our config files. Okay, so once we open up CodeLight, everything should look quite familiar. We've got our map script here. The other files we've got open are the entry HPC file, which we looked at, resources, main init config, and our default user settings, which should be familiar by now. So when you actually create a new mod and you launch it, you'll get a <coughs> mod folder added in your Soma directory within My Games and it will be called the name of the mod. And in there is your default user settings. So each mod comes with its own settings file. So now if we go back into code light, all that is fairly standard. We've set our resolution, set it to windowed, and we've enabled debug mode. We specify the start map under main init. So we're going to change this to our map when it comes to it. Under resources, anything that we want to override goes in here. And entry HPC just contains the basic details of your map and whatever config file we want to use. So the first thing we're going to want to do, obviously, is copy our map over. So inside our maps folder, we have sample map there. Let's make another one alongside there called tutorial map. And we'll just copy everything from here and paste. So now if we go to our main init config, just change our sample map to be tutorial map A. That's what I've called it locally. You may have called it something different. And our player start area will be player start area 1 because that's what we called it before. So now if we load our mod, we should, when we hit um, new game, load straight into our map. You can actually skip the start screen, um, but I just hit F3 to fast forward through it there. So now if we hit new game, we should be in our map. This looks familiar. 
this is the map we made before. There's our panels, there's our two doors. So the next thing we're going to want to do is just change the color of this flashlight. And I'll show you how to do that now. So we'll quit out of this and we will head back into code light. Okay, so to begin overriding uh, script files, we're going to want to pretty much mirror the directory structure from Soma inside our mod directory. So we're going to want to create a script folder. And if we go in here, inside our script folder, we're going to want to override player in this case. And the file we're looking for is player HPS. So we'll copy that over and then we'll open that up in code light. Okay, so back in code light, we're going to want to open our player HPS file. So we go into our scripts folder, open up player HPS, and right at the top here is the thing we want to change, which is the flashlight color. Um, C color takes in red, green, blue, and alpha, and we're just going to zero out green and blue so that we actually get a red flashlight. You can save that straight away. Um, and then the next step really is to go to our resources and make sure that we're also including the scripts folder. So change that to forward slash script. And that's pretty much all we should need. So if we give it a test, hopefully everything will work and we'll have a nice red flashlight. And there we are, we hit F and we have a red flashlight. And obviously the original files are still intact, so with HPL3 you don't actually need to modify the existing files or package up the entire game or anything like that. It's, it's very simple to just selectively choose the parts that you want to override and only include those in your mod. So that's pretty much all there was to go over in this video, uh, nice and simple. If you want instructions on actually uploading your mod uh, to Steamworks and so forth, hopefully we'll get those on the wiki for you and you can check that out there. But uh, yeah, have fun making mods.